hello there welcome back to my channel for those of you visiting for the first time welcome my name is Wanda Lee and no I don't usually make videos dressed like this but for this video it was necessary that I wear clothing that I don't mind getting paint on so in this video I am in my foyer and so what I'm gonna be doing today is I'm gonna be putting together the console table that goes in my foyer and I'm also going to be painting it black. So here's a little tip for those of you out there who enjoy saving money like I do and you don't mind doing DIY projects. If you're searching for furniture pieces and you fall in love with something that's a little bit out of your price range, there's an easy solution to that and that's what I did with this bad boy right here. Find something similar to the piece of furniture that you want um, and then you can always just paint it the color that you want. So I know I originally was looking at French country style black console tables for some reason. The black ones were more expensive than the wooden ones and a lot of times they were out of stock. So I was able to find a French country console table that I love the style of. However, the only thing that was missing was the color. And it was about $100 cheaper than the one that I wanted to buy in black. So I figured, hey, I'll just purchase it and then I'll paint it black myself. So you end up saving money and putting your own like touch to it just makes the piece of furniture all the more special. So that's a little tip for those of you out there who like to save money. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to give you a quick little tour of the foyer just so you can get a better idea of the style and the aesthetic in this room, which does tie into the rest of my house and so that you can understand why in the world I'm gonna be painting this beautiful console table black. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so this is my foyer. This is the first room that people enter when they come into the house. Um, as you can see, it's all painted white. I want a, like a minimalistic type of look with a little bit of boho and but also some french country so i'm kind of just making it my own so the door is black and there's a lot of natural light in here i painted the whole room white it's just simple simple white room and the floors are like a faux wood which is perfect for cleaning and then i have the boho type of bench right here and just simple artwork um, and a beautiful mirror and then I've got this cute little boho rug so the colors in here are really white cream and like a light wooden color so if you have if you've seen my um, how to small laundry space video I do mention that it's always good to measure prior to buying furniture so I did measure this wall here and I taped it out the the center point so it can line up with the mirror before I installed it that way I could know that where to put my table so that it's right in the middle and that the mirror is lined up to the center of the table. Now, that was the original table that I purchased. It's fine. All I have to do with this one is it's slightly smaller. I'll just remeasure and then just find the middle point of the table. But we're going to unpack our beautiful console table. I want to show you the original color. And then step one, I'm going to have to put it together. Um, it's going to be a challenge with these nails, but I can do it. And then we're going to paint it black. Okay, so as you can see, I unpacked all the contents of the box. I have the manual right here, and I know that I need a screwdriver. Then I have my handy dandy power drill. And I'm really glad that I also purchased um, a really fine sandpaper at Home Depot prior to getting it in because on um, looking at the parts, it is a glossy type of white, like a semi-gloss, so I'm definitely going to have to sand it down before I start painting it black. So I'm glad I got that. Um, what makes this table French country is just like the details in the legs, such as this. And yeah, it just looks a little more old school and classic. So what I'm gonna do first is, I wanna put the table together first and then I'm gonna paint it black. It's just gonna be a lot easier because if I paint the parts first, they're gonna need to be flipped over to dry. So I'm gonna put it together first and then we're gonna go ahead and sand it down and then paint it. Okay. 
<sighs> All right, you guys. So I put the, this, I put it together. This was actually one of the easiest pieces of furniture I've put together before. I've done a lot more difficult pieces than this. This is fairly easy. And it even took slightly longer because I put the bottom part upside down and I needed to turn it over so I could screw in that middle leg there. Other than that, very simple to do now. I'm going to lightly sand it. I'm gonna prep the floor space, put like a blanket down, and then we're going to paint it black. And also, it did come with a knob. However, I prefer to, obviously it's easier to paint it without the knob and I'm probably gonna change out that knob anyway. So yeah, we're just gonna leave it as is. So let's get into phase two, sanding it down lightly. So now that I sanded it down and I removed like the top coating of the gloss, um, I'm gonna go ahead. I purchased this urethane outfit satin enamel and it's for wood and metal doors trim and cabinetry. This is the same paint I used when I painted my kitchen cabinets white. So I know it works really well. And I also like the satin finish as opposed to semi gloss. And I just got it in the color black and then I have two small brushes because I'm not sure which one's gonna work better. If this synthetic one that looks really smooth and kind of plasticky is gonna work best, or from my experience, the more like natural bristle, it's a pure bristle. This usually works a little better when it comes to furniture like this. So I purchased both just in case. I do also have blue tape so I can take the under part of the top of the table. All right, so now we're gonna get started painting and I'm gonna also do a time lapse. Okay, so I'm done with the first coat of black paint. It actually covered quite well. Um, when you're, if you're gonna paint furniture, my personal opinion, be sure to go underneath and get um, the under parts of it. I also have to do the under part of the drawer just because it makes it look like it actually came in black as opposed to you just painting it black. So make sure you get all those corners. I like to go around and under and look at every angle. And that's how I catch parts. Like right now, I just realized I didn't paint the fifth foot black. So I'm gonna do that. And then also the bottom of the drawer, but every all the other corners, I kind of went underneath and looked at from every angle. So yeah, so my little partners here are keeping me company. I'm gonna let this dry. Um, I don't want to put a coat right on top before it's had time to completely cure. So I'm going to let it dry for maybe two hours. I'm going to take a break, have some lunch, relax, and then I'm going to paint the second coat. All right. So I decided that while the table is drying that I need decor to put on my table. Um, that's definitely something that's going to tie it all in. Once it's done, I want to put, maybe find some cute little like books and just other pretty decor. So we're gonna take a trip to Home Goods. I totally love Home Goods. Hopefully it's not too crowded today. It is Martin Luther King Jr. Day. So we shall see. Um, but yeah, and you can see my skin even better now in this lighting. It's literally like from here on, it's like a pink color. It's just really irritated. I do have on um, my hydrocortisone extra strength, so that is helping. But yeah, I don't know what's going on, you guys. It's I think it's a combination of wearing a mask and I don't know, ever since COVID, I've been having these issues with my skin, but that's a COVID life. What are you gonna do? Let's head out to Home Goods now. Yeah. 
Alright, so I'm back from Home Goods. I got some things at Walmart. I'm gonna go ahead and do the second coat of paint and then we're going to decorate it, my favorite part. All right, so while I'm waiting for the final coat of paint to dry, I'm just gonna show you what I got at Home Goods and Walmart. So I got this gold uh, lantern at Home Goods. I wanted to throw in a little bit of gold in there to kind of keep it a little more modern and fresh. So this is really cute. I'll probably put like a battery operated one. And then I also wanted to get something slightly smaller that kind of match, but not too matchy matchy to go beside it. So I also got this black one that's a little bit shorter. So I think those will look nice side by side. And then I got this beautiful vase. It's like has um one, two, three. It's a three tone, so it start off it starts off with white, then it's like a white wash, and then it goes into the natural wood color and I just thought this was absolutely beautiful it's really tall um I'm probably gonna put some florals in here this was made in it was handmade in Thailand and this one was handcrafted in India I love when they're made in other types of countries other than China although China is great but it's like there's a different I don't know a different type of you can tell that it's made um with a little bit more care instead of just like a huge factory so for this vase right here they did have two of them and I was contemplating if I should do two but then I don't want it to be too um, too too symmetrical so I found these at Walmart I figured I throw them in there but I want to put them a little bit higher because I do want to add some greenery make it look fresh got this little bunch at Walmart here so it's gonna be kind of high like that and then I found this really cute um, alarm clock at home goods as well since there's no clock in the foyer, if I'm passing through or rushing out or rushing in, I want to be able to see the time, but I don't want anything on the wall. Then I got this really cute candle here. It says Tranquility, and I like it because it's also kind of like a lantern. So it kind of goes with the whole theme, and it smells really good. Um, I also want to place some books 
on the console table. This was the only one I found that has to do with interior design. And of course, the coloring is important. So I like that it's black. It has some gray, a little bit of yellow. And I'm definitely going to need to pick up maybe one or two more books. This is the only one that Home Goods had. And um, Walmart only had like cooking books. Then I purchased this, although I only need one. I wanted some really modern like gold tone knobs for the console table. So I'll use one and then the rest I'm sure I could use in maybe the large guest room. Oh, my food is burning. All right, I just had to turn over my pot stickers, okay, which are kind of like those dumplings. I love dumplings, they're delicious. All right, so the next thing that I fell in love with at Home Goods and I just had to get was this beautiful bowl. It has like that type of light wood bamboo color in the inside, but then the outside, it's a nice glossy black, which I love. And for the inside of that, I found these, um, they're like decorative balls. What are these? Yeah, they're like decorative bow, they're a decorative bow filler. So they're like very botanical and I'm gonna, probably not gonna use a flower one cause I don't want it to look beachy, but I am gonna use like all the light, um, the light shades of wood just to tie into like that boho chic kind of vibe. And then I wanted another little touch of gold and I found this really cute modern geometric little vase with some faux uh, eucalyptus leaves at Walmart. And then last but not least, because I am having people take off their shoes when they come into my home, I did want a type of basket to put little socks for them in, but I didn't want like a brown tone color one. I thought, you know, that would be overkill. So I found this really cute basket at um, Walmart. It's like a dark bronze color and it has a really pretty light knobs. So this is my little haul. And once everything is dry, I'm obviously going to pick up more stuff. Um, in the near future, but this is what I was able to find today. All right, you guys, so it's time for the big reveal. And here's the finished product with all the decor on top. So I love it. And let me know what you think. Let's give you a close up. And that basket's gonna be functional. I could put gloves or little socks in there. I used my um, faux candles because obviously I don't wanna put real ones in there. So yeah, so this is the finished product. I like it. Um, I'm really, I still need to think about whether I want to move these two lanterns down here, put the bowl in the middle and get another one of the plant stands there. But for right now, I think it looks great because the size kind of balances each other out. Um, but yeah, this is a finished product. I hope you guys like it. And let me do it with the light on. And that is all. It took me pretty much all day to do this. I'm so glad it's done. It looks beautiful. Let me show you with the lights off oh, sorry wrong light so the light off it looks very um looks very cozy and i can always light another candle super cozy eventually i want to get a little shade for there that's how it looks with the lights off and the little faux candles burning i love it it's very modern, but clean, but still has a traditional type of feel to it, a hominess. And it definitely goes with the mirror and all the artwork as well. There we go. Turn the light back on. That's it, you guys. All right, well, that's the end of this video. As you can see, I'm looking a hot mess. I've got black paint everywhere. These pink nails are pretty much ruined, but that's okay. It was worth it. So be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe because I'm going to be posting a lot more projects as I continue to decorate the rooms of my house. So that's all for tonight because it is nighttime now. It pretty much took me all day. But that's all for tonight, you guys. Stay safe, stay blessed, and until next time, ciao.